Hello YouTube. Um, this is part three of MMD PMD How to Edit Your Own Base. And if you watched my first and my uh, second one, the skirt was not um, already on the character. So, to save time, I've already put it in on put it on there because um, you do the same thing for everything. The way you put on clothes, the way you put on hair. So in the description there will be links to see some of my other videos. Because again, you do the same thing. Because I'll be putting uh, a shirt and um, some shoes on her. So, the first thing that you'd want to do is get all this stuff open. So you want to click the ones that are clicked up here. So you click the D. This should come up. Click the VR. Click the V. This comes up. Um, click the MA, click the C, this comes up, then click the S, which brings up the subscreen. So, like I said again, you do the same thing for everything. So, if you follow how to, um, how I'm going to be putting on the shirt and the shoes, it's exactly how you put on the bottom and how you put on hair. And I'll also be putting on a texture on the shirt so you can see how to put on a texture also. So... What you want to do, go to where you saved um, your shirt. And as you'll see, yours might say edited outline, edited normal, outline normal. Usually what I'll click is normal, but you can do any one you want. And then you'll see stuff down here that has numbers. Um, you don't need to mess with those yet. But, if you would like to keep the texture for whatever piece of clothing you're doing, you want to select only the numbers, you want to copy them, don't cut them, and paste them into your model's file. Because when you get put that piece of clothing on, the texture will still uh, be on the clothes, and it will be on your model, and it will look fine. So, um, what you want to do, again, you can click any, any one of those that you want. You want to get this up and make sure um, you have MA clicked on that. And make sure you can see this and you can see this. So click on the one you want. You want to click it, hold it, and drag it and bring it over to here. This box will come up and click add. And you do the same thing with shoes, with hair, with undies, with pants, with skirts, with anything. So, whenever it comes up, you should see your piece of, piece of clothing, in this case, the shirt on your character. So, if you look at the character, um, you may notice that the clothes are way off, and usually they will be. Certain models, the clothes fit perfectly fine. So, I can show you how to make it fit. So what you want to do first is take this box and mess with this row first. The Z moves it forward or backward, the Y moves it up and down, and the X moves it left and right. I won't even mess with the X, it doesn't really do anything. So in this case I need to take the Y and I need to move the shirt up. But before you can do that, you have to get this box. And again, if you've seen other tutorials, uh, the links will be in the description for them. You'll see it goes 0 through whatever number, um, in this case 13, you'll see um, a 0 and then stuff under it. Since um, I've already have other stuff on, this 0 was for the undies that were on her, as you can see right there. Uh, this zero, and then the one, two, three, was for the skirt, as you can see. And then, now I've got um, another new zero, and you click everything under your zero, and it's for your new piece of clothing you put on. So, after you've done that, you want to go on the PMD view, click, hold, drag, and you should see a box appear. And make sure you select everything or you will be in trouble and um, it should turn orange. Then you're ready to edit. So again, focus on this one. Left and right, 
up and down, then left to right, don't mess with it. Then, because in this case, I gotta hold the X and move it up. And so this mouse I've got is like super slow and glitchy, so sometimes it doesn't really work. So move your piece of clothing however far up you want, the more it looks good. And you've got to make sure, turn your character all the way around to see. Because in this case, the shirt is way off of her body, so you've got to move it. So again, the Z moves it forward or backward. So in this case, I've got to move it right. And you need to make sure that all the skin is covered, because if even like the tiniest piece of skin is showing, it will show on Miku Miku Dance, and it looks really, really, really bad. So, once you've got that perfectly on, um, turn it around to make sure you've got her back covered, and I think I saw some of her back, yep. So if that happens, just keep moving it until you don't see... No, that might just be the color. Then, if you can see, um, the shirt, it's... A little bit too long and it's too wide so you can fix that come to the third row the Z will shrink it going this way as you can see it obviously needs that so and, and when you do that and if you see it needs to be to be moved again go ahead and move it again just move it as much as needed Then if you need to do this again, go ahead and do, um, mess with this row again. So, you turn around, see if everything looks good to you, and you say, okay, well, that looks fine. Now, you may notice that it's too big this way. You can also fix that. You come to the third row and use the X. This makes it smaller going left to right. And you can say, okay, that looks fine. And if you may notice, it might be too long or it could be too short. That's when you come to the third row again and use the Y. Move it up or down, um, whichever way it needs to go. Because in this case, um, it needs to be moved down. And if you see it start going in the skin, you need to edit it. Come back to this row and edit it how you need And I'll move, move it down a little bit. I'll see, let's see how it looks in the front. So again, turn the character, make sure every, all the skin's covered that needs to be covered. And then everything looks fine. So, now it's time to put on a texture. So, what you want to do is get this up. What you can do, if you want, is... Um, well first you need to find out where it even is. So you click these on here, and so you need to look for a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, as it says right there. Then look on this. You say, well, I mean, I see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, but uh, no, that's not it. Well, you don't look over here, you look over here. As you can see, it says MA0, then over here, it'll match and it says MA0. That's the side you look at. So, you come down here to where it says 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the part that belongs to whatever piece of clothing um, you put on. And of course, it may not have that many, maybe less. And what you can do if you want is come right here and make all these white. I personally like doing that just because um, it makes the colors brighter. I haven't done that for the skirt yet or anything. So, all I gotta do is click on the box and then this will come up pick your color in this case I want it to be white click OK you can also change the color for another texture if you want um, that's totally up to you though so I'm not gonna um, go and do that to all of them because it'll just take too much time so after you do that if you want it's time to put on the texture so as you can see over here 
or something already in the texture, so you select it and delete it. And look down here, and it says sphere. Do this for sphere textures. There's already something in this too. So what you can do is select it and delete it. Then you do that for all the rest of them. Click on the next one under that. This computer will respond. Click on the next one under that. Do the same thing. Select the texture delete. Then select the sphere texture um, and delete. So for the sake of time, I'm not going to do all of them right now, but that's what you do on all of them. So whenever this will hurry up and start responding, I can show you how to start putting the actual texture onto your model. So go back to your documents and find a texture that you want. So in this case, I'll use burlap. You do not cut it. You want to copy the texture that you want. And then go to where you save your model. I recommended saving it in your model fi file in your Mika Mika Dance file. So click on Mika Mika Dance if this is where you saved it. Click on user file. Click on model. Then click on the model where you saved it. And paste your texture. Um, there's different types of textures. There's a BMP texture and there's SPH texture. There's PNG texture. So right now we're just going to focus on BMP. So I will explain um, for PNG and um, like SPH textures. So after you've done that, you are ready. Since after it, there's not a dot SPH or dot PNG. That means it's a, a, P, a BMP folder. So that's what you type in. So come back to this box over here, and you want to look on te at texture. Click on it and type in whatever your um, texture's name. And if you want, you could have renamed it. So mine was um, burlap. So type in B U R L A P then dot BMP. You have to put the dot BMP. And so now there is some um, textures that are named PNG and on my computer um, they will not show up on PMD but they show up on Miku Miku Dance. So if you've got a folder, um, if you've got a file that says PNG you put it on the texture box but instead of putting BMP and it will the, the file will specify if it is PNG. Um, you'll put whatever it's named dot PNG. And then if you see one that'll say blah 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 dot SPH, you have to put that underneath the texture box um, to where it says sphere. You type in whatever it's named dot SPH. And this is different for um, everyone because on my friend's computer she has to put the um, SPH file where it says sphere but on my computer I can put it where it says texture I can put this uh, sphere file on there um, and sometimes the sphere texture will show up um, and it moves down there by itself after, after you save it because Again, I can't remember if I've already said this or not, but PNG and SPH files sometimes will not show up on PMD, so you've got to um, look at them on MMD. And so, now as you can see, the texture is on the shirt. That's all it is to it. It's very simple. And again, you do the same thing with um, putting on the other clothes and the hair. It's very easy. And if you're having any trouble at all, leave a comment and I will try to help you um, as much as I can. So, that unfortunately is going to be it for this tutorial because I'm running out of time because YouTube can only have 15 minute videos. So, 
I'm not going to try to put on the shoes. Like I said, it's the same thing. So I hope it helped. And thanks for listening.